guys, Creeper here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be doing another fan fiction reading, and this is going to be fantastic because, <laughs> oh boy, I love this because one thing I love about these fan fiction readings is how fucked, these fan fictions of how fucked up and odd they get, and how cringeworthy they get, and that's what I like about it. Now, here's this, guys. I decided to read you another fan fiction, but one I've never finished. So here's this one. It's called Naked Singularity, and this is the most cringiest, funniest, and dirtiest fan fiction I've ever read. Now let me get this straight. This is not like a, a clock fic. This is actually a um, this is actually a fan fic that's made to be funny. In a way, it makes fun of people who write fan fiction. That's the entire point. But it does it in the point of my little pony. I thank the writer for this story because this is hilarious. Now, uh, now I want when you read the story, just imagine you know a nerd just writing fan fiction like any other person. Now, of course, this is done in the point of view of Twilight Sparkle. So, honestly, guys, I hope you will enjoy this. And I hope do more. So, Eddie, Eddie, actually, guys, could you guys send some fan fiction of Twilight making fan fiction? This might, might Twilight writing fan fiction or something. I also, this might take a few episodes because it's very long. So here we go. Okay, <clears throat> um, Naked Singularity by Colin the Gardez. Twilight attempts to write a sensual romance novel. Okay, Naked Singularity. The candles on Twilight Sparkle's desktop guttered weakly. She had relied on them for light so long that they were burnt down nearly to the nubs. Thin trickle of wax dripped down their sides onto her desk, unnoticed, as she scribbled fiercely on her notebook. Behind her, Spike mumbled in his sleep and rolled over, pulling his tiny blanket tight over her shoulders. She stopped writing and froze, her hooves covered with, with notebook, until she, there was, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I remember I did, I'd say this, I had trouble stuttering, until she was sure she remained asleep. It would do, it wouldn't do for Spike to read this, oh no, this was definitely not for foals, or hatchlings for the matter. She slowly straightened back up through a quiet snowing filled the room. Oh, ev oh, evening glimmer, she whispered, uncovering the notebook. You don't care if anyone sees you, do you? She dashed off another sentence, the tip of her tongue peeking out between her lips. Another chapter done. Through the window, she could see stars being beginning to fade and the first light of dawn was still an hour or two away, and she had written all night long, again, Evening Glimmer story, her story, didn't need, needed to be told. She wondered if she was becoming obsessed. It happened with her before, magic, friendship reports, centipedes, probably just part of her personality. Fortunately, her friends were always there to keep her level. She watched the horizon slowly beginning to lighten, the black night washing away the pale tinted with pink. Maybe it was time for her to talk to her friends about this. One friend in particular. Nice. I love the way the story's written. It's not badly written like a lot of fanfictions are. I'm not doubting fanfiction writers. If you guys want to write fanfiction, that's your passion. I'm not going to doubt it. But stories like this will really get me, and I'm already like, you know, chilly. <laughs> Oh, I'm enjoying this. Okay, here's the next part. <clears throat> I have a confession to make. Rarity paused. A cup of tea held at her lips. For a brief moment, she thought she ha had misheard. So unexpected were the words. She, The sound of the ponies ordering food, eating their lunches, and chatting with friends filled the silence that followed. The everyday commotion of life in this small town. Confessions, however, were not an everyday occurrence, and certainly not for Rarity. She set the tea down and leaned forward. I'm sorry, darling, 
Come again? Twilight Sparkle glanced around nervously. She blushed, though her, only her closest friend could have noticed beneath her purple coat. Her ears wilted and her hunches forward to whisper. I said, I have a confession to make. Her voice was soft and intense. Oh. She was going to be... Going to be... This was going to be good. Twilight Sparkle, of all ponies, caught, with an caught in an indiscretion? Was it a stallion? A mare? Two stallions? Her heart trembled with excitement. What is it, dear? Twilight glanced at the table and around them. Searching for eavesdroppers, a few ponies seated nearby were engrossed in their own conversations. Lunch hour was near, nearly, nearing its end, and that there was nothing unusual about two friends having a quiet talk about their favorite little corners cafe. Still, Twilight seemed nervous, as though royal guards were about to leap, eat from the shadows, and slap her in chains. Rarity's anticipation jumped around other, or another order of magnitude. I'm writing a novel, Twilight whispered. <clears throat> Rarity blinked. A novel? She blurted. A few po ponies glared in their direction for a moment, but then returning to their own conversation. Twilight flinched at a pained looking look on her face. Rarity! Rarity fought back a swell of disappointment. The juicy confession wasn't so juicy after all. She gave Twilight a pair patronizing smile and reached out to pat her who reassuringly what that's what you're so worried and twilight there's nothing wrong with being a novelist i thought you you'd understand as a librarian and all twilight grabbed rarities who like it was the lifeline it's not that it's she trailed off blushing again rarity was all. it's what she took she took a deep breath it's a romance novel. She spoke at the last two words slowly, as though they were tasted bad on her mouth. The disappointed ebbed, replacing with cautious interest. Perhaps all was not lost. You don't say! That's perfectly fine, Twilight. I re respect. Twilight, respectable even. Twilight. Okay. <sighs> Twilight perked up. The ha haunted expression faded from her face. Her ears swiveled forward. Is it? But I thought all of all Equestria, there's nothing ponies want more than to read about the triumph of love over adversity. She sighed quietly, her eyes loosing their focus. Why, I have my own little collection of romance novels back in my boutique. Do you? Twilight seemed almost back. Back to normal, hopeful, hopeful even. Well, of course, darling. A mare is entitled to her fantasies. After all, it's not surprising that a pony as educated as you would try to try her hoof at riding. Twilight was quiet for a, a while. She dis. Di she digest. Uh, sorry, guys. She digested her thought. Eventually, she nodded and re relieved smile on her face. Mm, re relieved, relieved. Sorry. Maybe I, I am worried too, worrying too much. Thank you, Rarity. You're a good friend. Well, of course. Rarity did her best not to smirk. Then the conversation turned more mundane topics, and soon she had completely forgotten Twilight's novel ambitions. Okay, that's getting really good. I'm only nine minutes in this, and I'm uh, I don't even know how far I am on the. Oh, I'm not very far. Shit. Uh. <sighs> the parcel was r waiting on Rarity's doorstep when she opened. The boutique, eek, the next, the boutique, uh, uh, the boutique next morning. There was not a note attached, just a purple starburst, or was printed on, on plain brown unwrapping. Rarity felt the loose leaf pages of the manuscript with it, and and then she, when she picked it up, she smiled to herself and brought put it inside. There was no customers yet, un, and unlikely to be any for several hours. She couldn't be, shouldn't have passed the time working on the projects of sorting the inventory and ba 
balancing the books, or any dozen of other things a small business owner are needed to do to keep up the ship afloat. Instead of settling down on the plush couch near the eastern window, drinking in the early morning sun, poured apart heard the twine strings sealing the package. Sweetie Belle was already at school, and in a few hours she would not return, along with the other two Philly friends, and that they, were <clears throat> they would do their best to burn down the boutique. But there were several hours in the future, for now, there was peace. A few pages wouldn't hurt, she told herself. Besides, this was a flavor for her, favor for her friend. What was more generous than helping out a friend? Nothing. That was it. That was what? She lifted the first page into the air and before her and began to read. <clears throat> this is terrible, Fluttershy said. She whined her own mm, bluntness. Uh, sorry. Don't apologize, Rarity, said. She was morose, her mane frazzled from hours of pouring through the dense, dense prose, incomprehensible incom dialogue, and, and wooden love scenes that uh, populated Twilight's novel. Not even a novel, she corrected herself. It was a mishmash of incoherent scenes connected with sore, oh, trashy goo. It's the truth. I feel terrible, though. Uh, what am I supposed to tell her? Hello, Twilight. I just finished your story, and I discovered absolutely no redeeming qualities in it whatsoever. I suggest you burn it before anybody else sees it. <laughs> Fluttershy considered that. To her credit, she didn't think that would think about it for very long. I don't think it's that. I think that's a good I idea. Maybe you should just tell her it's for. Her. It's a good first try. Rarity looked at her flatly. Her horns glowed and random pages from the manuscript floated through the air towards her. She cleared her throat and began to read aloud. Oh, baby, evening, gl evening glimmer moaned. She cried out of ecstasy and then, and then in pleasure followed by more ecstasy. Do me, do me harder, mount me, make me your America. I can't say this a bit loud, my roommate might hear this. <laughs> Rarity set the paper <clears throat> back down. Fluttershy studied her hooves. Uh, maybe she's trying too hard? I heard the Pegasus finally said. That doesn't sound like her pause. Or anyone. It certainly didn't. She. So what do, you, do we tell her? Write something else. No! I told her that, her that we're... <sighs> Sorry, I skipped something. No! Rarity shouted. Fluttershy ducked underneath the wings and outburst. I told her there was nothing wrong with writing a romance novel. I can't go back and tell her to stop now. She'd be heartbroken. Oh, Flares, I said. That would be bad. Very bad. We need to gently nudge her into the pro onto a proper path. Right. She considered for a moment. Uh, we? Rarity smiled. Yes, we were. More specifically, you. Uh, oh, but Rarity, I don't know how to critique anybody. Any pony. Sorry, I keep saying. Okay. Nonsense. Rarity dismissed her concerns with the wet ape of her hoof. You're the kindest and most gentlest of us all. Of us. Fluttershy, you are no know the thing or two about romance novels. Just give her a few ideas of how to improve. Do who or do we have to do, do we have to? Fluttershy asked. I mean, why can't we just let her keep writing? Maybe she'll get better on her own. Rarity pulled out another page and ran in the pile. Yes, every evening glimmer cried. Yes, 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 yes. Fluttershy, a set thoughtful silence for a while. Rarity startled it. started to reach for another page. Fine! Fluttershy said before Rarity could start reading. I'll talk to her tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> I knew that. See what I mean, guys? This is what I'm talking about. Like, it gets cringy and it makes you don't want to read it aloud. But I'm reading it aloud anyway. People have already read this aloud oh, on YouTube. But I want to do it for you guys if you guys haven't read it yet. So, continue on. I'm going to continue on. So, 
I couldn't remember. I could not finish this story. So here we go. Twilight Sparkle was at her reading desk when somebody knocked on the library door. For the better part of three hours, she had been furiously scribbling in a notebook, all the while reading from from serious novels floating around her literary cloud. The soft serration of flipping pages and scratching on her quill were the only sounds to be heard. Occasionally, she would pause to examine a particular passage in a greater detail, her pen freezing in place and on. As all her mental power bent into this, di dis <clears throat> dissecting the sentence and ferreting out the particular genius that made it so powerful, so powerful, also hot, steamy, and sweaty, she had tossed open the library windows in an effort to cool down. This was definitely more exciting than her studies on the of the magic of friendship. Uh, sorry, I have to. Uh, I'm actually crouching at, at like how cringy this is. Um, uh, in three hours, Twilight had assembled more research into romance novels than any pony in history. She had studied dozens of heaving blossoms, hooffuls of throbbing stallion hoods, and, and evening maidens' flowers to fill, uh, fill, the guard, fill a garden. <laughs> it, it was insightful. It was eye-opening. It was powerful at this oh, little bit unhealthy. Time to take a break. After one more chapter, she decided that a moment later, the Black Stallion had just confessed his love to Barry Cream, and that they were about to retreat to the secluded patio to joyously con consume a their relationship. I can't pronounce that word. Anyway, <clears throat> Twilight turned the page. A tiny bead of sweat trickled its way down on the side of her face when the knock came. She yelled in surprise, a constellation of books falling to the floor, to the floor as she lost her grip on them. The thought out of being discovered reading all, over a dozen trashy romance novels at the same time sent her to a panic. And, then, and she scooped them up, up in a pile and shoved them under the, her desk. One moment, she sang. She grabbed a cushion from the couch and shoved it in front of the desk. Not the best disguise, but perhaps, but, but perhaps, but better than nothing. Before she get, her guest could knock again, she trotted to the door and pulled it open. Fluttershy, she explained. Come on in. You know you, you never need to knock. She fell off as she got closer and looked at at the Pegasus. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm stuttering. Um, Fluttershy seemed nervous, which was hardly unusual. What was unusual was the brown paper package held in her mouth. A brown paper package with a purple starburst on the cover. Twilight pulled her, her into the library and slammed the door shut up before anyone else wandered by. Where did you get that? She, squ she squealed horribly and blushed spread across her face. Did you read it? Fluttershy set the manuscript on the board. Now, Twilight, you know we're your friends. You you never have to be embarrassed or ashamed around us. That wasn't what Twilight wanted to hear. Her ears flattened back against the skull, and as she sank in the floor, Oh, Celestia, you did. You did read it, she moaned, covering her face with her hooves. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all, Twilight. Fluttershy said. She carefully avoided making eye contact. Wait, you mean it? Twilight looked. Looked up, her her eyes filled with hope. You liked it? Twilight, Fluttershy was quiet for a while, her gaze danced around the room before it, eventually settling back on Twilight. Her hopeful expression had changed. Fluttershy sighed quietly. It was fine, but um, Twi Rarity and I thought it for in some ways to make it better if you want, that is. Twilight nodded frantically and peeped. A pleading look on her face, her outstretched hooves grasped at Fluttershy's foreleg. Fl Fluttershy sit eyed again. Well, um, first you need to be more realistic with your scenes. Especially with, um, you know. She looked away, blushed with her cheeks. Uh, right. Twilight scratched the back of her neck, but I don't have much, uh, experience with those things. Um, most writers don't. Fluttershy looked wistful with her reasons. That doesn't matter. Just write what you know. 
and try to make your story as personal as possible. Personal? Like, about me? No, well, maybe... No, no, not yet. Per Fluttershy mumbled at the last few words as though you were speaking to herself rather than Twilight. Try to put what makes you special into your story. Maybe... Ma what made her special? Twilight thought uh, about that for a moment. Her ears twitched back and forth like flags. I think I have an idea of that. Okay. I'm getting to the point here. To, it's getting close. Ooh. Ugh. Sorry. Cringing. Um... Not just an idea, a wonderful idea. Once Fluttershy was gone, she swept the hidden romance novels out from under the desk and flung... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, uh, oof. Uh, sorry, my throat's killing me. Run to her desk and flung them carelessly across the room. Let, let Spike reach all of them later. She didn't care. She ha had an idea. Make her story personal, she mumbled. Echoing Fluttershy's command. In a re retrospect, it was obvious. Blindingly so. Also, oh, other per other novels were like cookie cutters. Change the name, swap the scenery, and then you might as well have written by the same pony. No original, no originality. Nothing special. <clears throat> nothing that spoke to the soul. But Twilight had an idea. A beautiful, precious, seductive, dangerous, alluring. Sun Sensual, sexy idea. She let, she felt herself growing hot just like a, thinking about it. Hot and other things. She s checked to make sure the door was locked. She trotted over to her bookshelves, ignoring the room in its section. Her eyes danced across the shelves as she plucked books into the air, floating for them beside her head. This called for some research. Anatomy, science, Sociology, chemistry, physics, lo lonely physics. Oh, how long had it been since any pony put up this book from the shelves? She wrote in a loving hood over the dusty binding. Twilight sat at her reading desk and gave the book a dis painful snort. A chicken, the chicken scratch with it in from trash, worth worthless. She ripped the usual pages out out and flipped into blanks of white sheet. Excuse me. Flipped into a blank white sheet. A clean sheet. Not, but not for long. Oh no, there is nothing clean about this. It was time to get dirty. Dirty with science. SCIENCE! God damn. <laughs> okay, maybe one more passage. Um, depending how long the passage is. Okay, this passage will be short. Okay. Okay, one week later, another pa package of was waiting at Rarity's doorstep, and then she opened the boutique. The package wrapped with a plain brown paper with a purple starburst on the top. She felt the start of a headache begin in her eyes. Maybe Twilight had taken Fluttershy's advice and somehow produced a masterpiece of literature, a romance novel that would define their generation and, and be studied by scholars for decades to come. A story of love, loss, redemption, the... That would reduce even the most powerful stallions of Jay Mare's tears. Historians might someday refer to Rarity as an opus first editor. The right lengthy tree ah tree trustees on her I can't pronounce that word to her contribution into the arts. Or maybe not. She lifted it, it into the air, holding it away from her body as the though it might somehow stain her dough of white coat. It was heavier, thicker. Twilight well, had been busy, it seemed. She briefly fantasized burning the boutique down and the manuscript along with it. The, a terrible action she would tell Twilight nothing to do with the move, but to move out of her or never write again. Unless boutiques were expensive and she only ha had the one, there was nothing to do but breathe through the story again. That was what friends did. In fact, the more friends, the better. She put it a closed sign in the boutique window and trotted down the street. 
the package floating seemingly behind her. How long is this? Okay, I won't have time to ring, read further. So, okay, I can't remember where I stopped. Uh, okay, here's where I stopped. So I need to be right here. Anyway, guys, I hope you um, <clears throat> like this um, this reading. And I hope you guys like to read further. If you just join me further, guys, please don't be ahead of me. I like you if you guys join me in this story because, ah, uh, man, uh, it's going to be a long week for me for the kitchens and stuff. So this might take a while. So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys just remember, guys, keep. If you guys write fan fiction, keep doing it. It's what you like doing, and I don't want to stop you. So, oh, and plus, guys, if you want to write your own fan fictions about anything, or if you already wrote in a fan fiction and you want me to read it, I'll be happy to read it. So, here we Anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. So, I'll catch you guys later. Creeper's got a creep. Bye bye! Hey guys, Creeper here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you Please hit that like and subscribe button if you want to see more of my cringy humor. Just remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, you follow, if you want to see more or the banana man here, just remember to follow up on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Also, you can if you guys want to recommend me some videos, you can tell me there or in the comments, or you can also tell me on my Snapchat, which I will rewrite my ghost code right here. You can tell, chat, send me some snaps, and I hope I can do your ideas. Anyway, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Creeper's got a creep. Bye-bye.